The Ordre du, du Kruger, mostly known as the Order of the Gallant Cove, is an order militant of the Adeptus Sororitas. The order was found during the first centuries of M39, when the disappearance of warp storms in the Ultima Segmentum allowed the exploration of a new sector, lost to mankind since the Dark Age of Technology. An ecclesiarchal expedition, mostly consisting of agents from the Missionaris Galaxia and sisters from the Order of Our Martyred Lady, were the first to venture into this new sector, assisted by a small team of Megos from the Martian Priesthood. During the journey, the expedition came across the planet of Kanakta, a world similar to ancient Terra and rich with archipelagos. On the planet, the agents of the Ministorum were welcomed as fellow humans by an organisation of women who protected the planet and guarded its holiest temple, called by the natives the Dune Kruger, which literally translates into Brave Fort. The Dune Kruger was built during the Dark Age of Technology and, for unknown reasons, allowed access only to the women who guarded it. Those who tried to enter found themselves lost in a labyrinth of moving walls, and could only go back to the exits, unless they were accompanied by one of the temple guardians, who refused to let anyone inside. While the forces of our martyred lady could have entered the temple by force, smashing their way through the walls and traps, the priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus forbade the use of brute force, afraid to damage the ancient technology that could be lying inside the fort. Seeing the fortress and its guards as an opportunity, Ecclesioch Umberto II declared Conacta property of the Ministorum, and its inhabitants were converted to the Imperial Creed. The women guarding the ancient fort were integrated into the Sisters of Battle, becoming the Order of the Gallant Cove, and the Doom Kruger became the first and main convent of the Order. The Green Raptor, main symbol of Conacta, was made into the symbol of the Order and depicted upon its banners, ascending as if lightning from the Doom Kruger to the stars symbolising the ascension of the sisters from their homeworld to the Imperium. Welcomed into the Imperium of Man, several Imperial authorities soon noticed just how different the Gallant Cove sisters were from the other sororitas, as their rituals and habits came not from Imperial education, but from customs and traditions of a planet isolated from mankind since before the Imperium. In fact, the sisters of the Gallant Cove acted more freely, often appearing as mannerless and barbaric when compared to sisters from other orders. However, their faith in the Emperor, loyalty to the Imperium, and their unconditional hate for the enemies of mankind proved to be just as strong as any other soldier from the Sisterhood. Since the first time the Order was sent into battle, the Sisters proved to be experts in both naval and siege warfare, thanks to the several centuries spent travelling through the archipelagos of Kanakta and their experience in protecting the Dune Kruger. Upon winning their battles, the Sisters would invite the involved Imperial forces to celebrate victory with sumptuous feasts preceded by a ceremony to thank the man-god, and followed by a series of ritual hand-to-hand -hand duels. The strong, confident, and informal behaviour of the sisters of the Gallant Cove eventually made them good friends with the Space Wolf Space Marine chapter, and their experience in frequent space travels, ship-to-ship -ship fighting, and boarding actions also made them both appreciated aboard rogue traders' vessels, and hated enemies of the Chaos Warband, the Crimson Corsairs, who were specialised in similar naval tactics. After several millennia of loyal service by the Order, Canon their superior Grand Mayor the Third finally allowed a series of small teams consisting of priests from both the Ecclesiarchy and the Mechanicus to enter the Cove, so that they could bless the fortress in the name of the Emperor and study the ancient technology within. However, the Ecclesiarchy eventually realised that the Sisters were still hiding several of the Cove's secrets from them, silently refusing to share their most sacred treasures with the rest of the Imperium. Unable to afford the loss of such a useful order of sisters, and still unwilling to damage the Gallant Cove, the Adeptus Ministorum decided to tolerate, for the moment, the lies of the order, hoping to eventually gain their full trust and access to its hidden treasures.